guys so welcome back to Gotham Budget you guys probably just saw my makeup video slash really bad ranting about my honeymoon video anywho hi so today we're gonna be disgusting disgusting not disgusting it's kind of disgusting story you really think about it so I decided to do a story time like the new setup so I want to do a story time and this story is pretty damn stupid so, I recently just watched Jurassic Park. I'm catching up on all these movies I missed during God knows how long now. So done, broken, whatnots, busy. Anyways, so I finally watched Jurassic, not Park, Jurassic World, Fallen Kingdom. We're gonna call that movie. It just. <sighs> it brought back this stupid ass fear that I didn't know I really had until that movie because long that time ago when um, Jurassic Park 2 came out and they were bringing all the fucking dinosaurs to San Diego where I was living at the time uh, in La Mesa that area so it was really like not far to go to San Diego just like right next to our neighbors and that scared the shit out of me because you guys remember that movie the T-Rex comes like gets loose and starts storming around San Diego. Well, one of the scenes was how the T-Rex was in the house, whatever. I don't really remember that part, but it's a, it's a scene where that, it, it formed a stupid dream I had after I watched the movie that sparked the stupid fear, which I, oh God, it's bad, I'm so sorry, which is where I'm sleeping in my bed and I'm looking at the window next to my bed, and all I see is this fucking T-Rex screaming at me, like, and, oh my god, I just, it scared the shit out of me every time I went to bed, and so I look at my window, like, oh, there's a T-Rex. So, bringing up to the new movie, well, not really new, new to me, the Fallen Kingdom movie with Chris Pat in it or not, whatever, where they release the fucking dinosaurs so we can live with them. Including the fucking T-Rex. It's like, are you fucking kidding me? So that nightmare came back with fucking a vengeance. You can ask my husband Cody, he agreed that I had a nightmare for his following T-Rex and dinosaurs. Fuck you, of course, right? So... I don't know how to get over this stupid fear because it shouldn't happen ever unless somehow they do find an amber piece with mosquitoic mosquito in it with dinosaur DNA, which I think they have actually. I sell amber too. Anywho. So I hope you guys enjoyed, enjoyed this stupid ass short story during this Goth on a Budget story time. And believe me, there's going to be more. Because I have a lot of stories involving not just being goth, if you guys didn't realize that, but also tattoos, piercings, there's a lot of stories of that one actually. My mom can tell you that one, I might have to bring her on here. It was, all, was another thing. Yeah, there's a lot of stupid ass stories that are going to be coming up soon. Because this is going to be a new fucking thing. And then, are we going to bring, up, bring back Goth Talk? I think we should. I already did the summer ones. I'm not doing those again. I gave you all the advice I know about summer. And I'm following those advices. It's like 4 around here. And yet the sun is still hot. And I'm putting some back on. So, anywho. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't find a T-Rex and release it. I'm like, even then, like, what the fuck? Like, seriously. Release all the good ones, but you release the bad ones, the predator ones, the T-Rex. There's the... What they're called? Um, raptors. And that big one in the fucking ocean. I already can't go to the ocean because the stupid fear of sharks. I don't know why that's a thing. I... I don't know why. I don't know why. But I really don't go to the beach for that reason. Now that's a bigger reason.
Cause all of a sudden here, oh, in my fucking thing, just don't release all the fucking dinosaurs. 